Wow, these look lovely. It's a quiet steam engine. Engine that's going to be an eight and a half inch ball cylinder, but that doesn't look very, does not very feed a lot of power to drive this well, from the station. You can see, you can see the, you can see the, the cover here, look, yeah, yeah. that's all flange. The actual cylinder bore is in this deck there. Well, that, well, I can span eight inches, right? An engine of this, this size, with seven on the horsepower, it's going to have an eight and a half inch ball cylinder, right? So it's going to be that pulled in a bit, right? Well, you get you got about 100 well, pressure, isn't it? Well, the boiler pressure would be about 150 pounds, give or take. Right, well, you, wouldn't get all, you wouldn't get all of that through the regulator, but right. you get enough. You, know, you work out the area with an 8.5 inch Say, say tons 100 psi. Yeah. yeah, and you put, you put 70, 80 pounds steam behind yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's some yeah, it's got cool a show, isn't it? Yeah, when yeah. you go that way. Yeah. How difficult is it to set, you know, if you see all the sort of different um, levers and everything, how yeah. difficult is it to set one of these up? Oh, we're erecting one. You mean? Yeah, Build, you, building one up. If, yeah, if you say you've got a, say you've got a timing on it, how, how easy is it to set that up? Oh, <laughs> bloody difficult, should not it? I've never had the pleasure of having to set up an engine, but I'm going to because mine's all in bits at the moment. Oh, that's really? that, that pleasure has gone to the cop. Right. You just spent hours and hours and hours. This engine's a little bit complicated. It's actually got two completely different sets of valve gears. That's, that's to give it better feel the cop. You see all this little lot sliding yes. back and forth. Yeah, exactly. See, so everything's duplicated. Yeah. It's really the inside one we want to look at. What you've got on here is this curved link that you're yeah. swinging on these arms. Yeah. It's got a rod here and a rod there. Now they go back to what we call eccentrics. They're cams in effect on the yeah. pressure. Right. Now they give you the movement that controls the valve in here that shuffles the steam back and forth. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're set on the crank. They're key to the crank yeah. shaft. So. So Once they're on, movement. they're on, and that's yeah. a fixed point. They've got yeah. a fixed maximum throw, they're at a set angle. Yeah. If that's wrong, there's nothing you can do about it. Right. Just pull the bloody things off and make them again and right. get them right. right. But what you do is what you got in here is a valve, a piece of cast iron, yeah. that's shuttling back and forth yeah. across a smooth face yeah. with slots in it. Yeah. That goes to the end of the cylinder. Right. And another slot in the middle that goes to the chimney. Right, okay, right. right. It, this, this valve has got a cavity in it. Yeah. What it as it slides back backwards, it uncovers one port and lets yeah. steam into the front end. Right. But at the same time the cavity in it is over this back port so it lets steam out of the chimney. Yeah, yeah, we And it goes yeah. the other way, it yeah. reverses. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This little lot gives you two things. One, it alters the timing so the engine can either run forward or backward. Oh really? Right, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Right. So that's your forward and reverse. Oh, so and the other, thing, and the other thing it does, by moving this lot up and down on here, yeah. it reduces the length of travel that this, yes. this valve has. And what that does is it means that the valve is open to the steam for a shorter length of time per stroke. Right. So you use less steam per oh. stroke. So again, that's a bit like you get. less steam. Less steam. You're not using enough to what you do, you let steam into the cylinder for a bit, then yeah. you shut it off, yeah. it's trapped in there, yeah. it expands and works on the piston, gives right. up its energy like that. Right. So what you do, when you get started, you give it what you call full gear, yeah. you get a maximum port maximum open, pressure, right. give it Okay. Yeah. Then you leave and then it, when you get going, yeah, you shorten the stroke, oh. advance the cut off a bit, right. Right. so you get less steam, less steam in, going in, but you get more work out of it. Oh bloody hell, that's, that's really really well. Well. you can do it forward and backwards, that's how you get right. it Good God. It's, it's bloody clever. So you know, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So if you don't reverse it, yeah. so you're putting the pr you're, if you if normally driving forward, you're putting the pressure on one side of the piston. I mean, it works both ways. So, so yeah, so you so you're, you're putting pressure on both sides of the piston. You drive it forward and you drive the piston back. Yeah, yeah you push your piston up and down. <laughs> right, yeah. both ways. And you do that when the engine's going forward and reverse. What right. the difference is what position that is that all is in relative to the to the piston. If you understand what I mean, it must make, make the crank go one way or the other. Oh, okay. So yes, difficult right. Difficult to explain without getting all the diagrams no, 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 there. Okay, okay, right. I saw. Um, let, yeah. Let's look at it. See where the crank is now. Look yes. where that big con rod is. Yeah, and that yeah. red crank. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty much halfway through his stroke. Yeah. Yes, right. So he could go either way. Yeah. 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 But to go for the, that rod to go backwards. Yeah. The front port has had to be open to steam. Yeah. Right, to push it back. Yeah. yeah. But it, to go the other way, this the port has got to be open to steam. Right. And that's what moving this lot around does. It alters the time at the position of the valve relative to the crank. Oh, okay.
That's impressive. That is a miniature version of that. Impressive.